Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back today to um, for us to start the decorating process for our ring-bound uh, journal. So let's get started. Uh, what I'm going to do, sorry, the cat is moving the tripod. He has to make himself known. Um, we have three pages that are envelope pages. We have three pages that are bag pages. And we have three pages that are journal pages. So what I'm going to do in the interest of time, um, and we have the two internal pages. This is my plan. We will do the cover decorating and adding lace and fabric that we might want to do at, in another video. We'll do that separately because that's got a couple important steps in it. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll do one of each type of page. So I'll do one inside cover. I will do uh, one of the uh, journals and I will do one bag. Why don't we do, we'll do that one uh, because they're all the same sort of process and we'll do one of the envelopes and let me do the CD one because that's probably the most daunting, although it's not daunting at all guys, because you, you're dealing with some curves there. Great, so we'll do that and like I said this may turn into a couple of parts in this video. I have my bits of um, botanicals. Um, I just pull them out of my book. I just rip them all out so that I have them at hand when I need to use them. So I've got that available. I have some old book pages to decorate. I have some Tracy Fox tags and flashcards and whatnot that we can use. I've glued those onto parchment crafts uh, or craft cardstock in both cases uh, and I think these would make good tuck spots so I have some tuck spots you could just use scrapbook paper if you want it but I thought these were really nice because you got to zhuzh them they're zhuzhed already a little bit I've got some Tracy Fox paper some music paper some Tracy Fox digis because what can I say they are just so terrific um, and these are some of her new ones. So I will link in the video below to um, some of her, her these kits. Let me see what else do I have here of Tracy's. A couple more really beautiful pages. So we're going to use all of that sort of stuff uh, and, you know, just play as we go. Uh, yeah, I've got some book pages here, so we've got those as well. So why don't we get started? Let's start with the circle. And really, in many ways, these are all going to follow the same sort of process. Um, you're going to need your glue, you're going to need probably some scissors. Well, I think I do mostly tearing ink if you're going to use it, and some paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at working around that circle. I hope that you can see this and it's not too glare-like. So this is what I want to do. I'm just going to rip some pieces. I know that this is my opening, so I can't do any folding there. And I'm going to, I'm okay with going into that circle a bit. And I'm just going to do a little bit, oops, a little bit of inking on here. And you could tear it, if you didn't like it going into the circle, you could just be careful about tearing it a little bit there. So we're going to get the cover off. <laughs> Not the full cover, just the red part off my fabric tag. And you could use any kind of glue, guys. I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes. And I'm going to try not to put it in my mouth, but I can't be... I can't be certain that's going to happen. So I'm, I didn't go all the way down because I know that this is not going to cover the whole bit. So I've got that there and I literally, I cut as I go because I want to make sure um, that I'm not, um, I'm not going to cover that edge. So we've got that corner there. Uh, what else do we want to do? I've got some of this fun Tracy Fox paper. I'm just going to, see I tried to do a bit of a curve like that. 
And so I could put that there. And I'm okay with it coming on to this. That's fine. This one I'm not going to bother with inking. You, uh, it's totally up to you. Um, I've gotten into habit lately of only inking some. I find that it just gives it a, a little more dimension. Uh, and this is already dark enough. So look how easy this is, guys. It's super easy to do. It's, it's all a matter of not trying to be too um, precise, I guess. Uh, what else do I want to use? I'm going to use some of this paper. And again, I'm going to do that little curve like so on the inside. Uh, not as happy with that, so I'm just going to cut down like so. And if I put that there and then fold this over, that will work. And the reason I'm going to fold it over is that, that there's no um, opening behind it. And it's just going to add some interest to the back, I think. So, up around the top there. And then I'm just going to fold that over, like so. So let's see what else do we want over here. Let's use um, some more of this. Especially love this um, where the holes are. I think that's pretty cool. So if I go like that up high, then I can flip that over. So you can see it's just kind of Decorate as you go. It's all good. Okay. Making sure I'm just being mindful of this opening and mindful of not taking up too much of the circle. And I think that's fine. And if you didn't want to fold that over, you would just cut it off. Just making sure that there's no glue in there. Okay, now here um, I'm not going to put, I'm not going to cover that little bit of white. Instead, I'm going to try and find one of my botanicals that might be a bit long. Here's a piece of wheat, and here's another one. So let's see. Oh, that's too long. Unless I go like that, which I think would be kind of pretty. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it down here. This one I'm going to just do a little inking on. And um, only because I think it's just, want, I want it to show up a little bit more. And I'm just going to glue behind. So. Like so. So I want to make sure this still stays open here. And we are pretty much set with that. And if we want, we could put a little bit of lace when we get to the lace part there, or whatever. So that's the front of the CD case covered. Simple as that. Then for the back, I'm going to do something a little bit more, uh, cover it with paper. This is really nice, this paper. All of Tracy's are really nice. So I'm just going to cut it. And this is how I decorate. I know it's probably not the most ideal way to go, but I just don't want to create too many rules for myself. Um, I just want to have fun, really, with the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this right down here, and then I'm going to cut it from behind. So I'm going to put glue over this bit all the way around, making sure I don't glue into the opening because the CD case has a... Um, you can see here, and I did put a little glue there. I'm just going to wipe that off in there. Okay. So, 
So, and you can go on to the um, onto the spine a little if you want. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to go like that. Uh, I didn't take it right to the bottom because I knew I hadn't made that super straight. So I want to try and cut this so that it's straight. So here we go. Like so. And then here we go, like so. So we've got this on the back, and that's kind of the beginning of, cut this down a little tiny bit more, there we go. So that's just kind of the beginning of uh, what we're going to do on the back side. Now I'm just going to ink around it, and remember this is going to look even more special once you put some ephemera on the inside of the, um, of the CD case. Ink around here as well. If you can see there's a little nose in frame up there. That's Mr. Leo. Try not to say his name too much because we've just got so much stuff here. Okay, so we're moving along. Alrighty, so the next thing I would do on We've got three envelopes. On two of them, I like to put a little tuck spot of some sort. So what I thought I would use on this one, potentially, is I have this really great, this is from Tracy that I've put on um, some parchment. And this is just a library card. But if you had like a playing card, a vintage playing card, something with a bit of heft to it, and I want to put that right here. Um, and I'm okay that it's covering up this lady a little bit. I have no problem with that. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue here because it's a tuck spot. I'm just going to put it around two of the sides. Making sure that this still opens. That's important. And then I'm just going to set this here on the side. So really, our envelope is ready to go. And this is the sort of technique I would use on the, both of the, t the other envelopes, making sure one envelope has a tuck spot and the other one doesn't. And I can tell you the one I would put a tuck spot on, sorry, is the one that has a really blank back. So this one, I don't think it really needs it. You could just put something really decorative on the back. Um, but this one, I think, would need a little something on one of the, either the front or the back. Okay, so that is the envelope, how to cover an envelope pretty easy. All right, so next, let's look at doing, whoops, did I put those somewhere, the ones I wanted to do? Um, let's look at doing the bag, and I'm just trying to find, oh, I put them over here. I, no, I did not. Did you ever have one of those days? Here we go. Here we go. There they are. So the bag. This one has the opening up at the top. Now, what with the bag, I like to be sure and keep some of the glassine bit um, untouched. Um, so I'm going to pull just rip some of this paper. This is also Tracy Fox paper. And I'm just going to cut it here. And I'm just going to rip, uh, I'm cutting this bit so that it's fine on the, on the side. And then I'm going to rip up here. And so what I thought I would do is I would put this here. And then we would put a uh, botanical on top of that. And I'm not going to ink this one on the bottom because I want it to recede. And like I said, you can do that if you want. Go for it. So we just put this on here, line it up with the side. And you could have put a piece here 
that I folded over. That would have been fine to do as well. Um, there are no rules. Just enjoy what you're doing. That's kind of the rule. So what if we put this here? And then we would still have space there to see what's inside. Now this bag, the clear bag, I wouldn't put something on the back, like as a tuck spot. Um, I just don't think it's needed. Well, it's not that it's not needed. It's I don't want to. I want to be able to see what's in the bag. I mean, that's part of the the allure of having a glassine bag is that you can see through it. So here we go. And maybe I'll move this over a little bit, like so, like so. So that's all I want to do, and we'll we'll add a little bit of lace or, or some fabric later. But let's do something on the back as well. And um, maybe I'll use some more music paper. So. I'm going to just grab a little piece like so. And I'm going to like that. So we're going to set it on that side. And I'm doing it on that side because I've, you can see the from the back that the um, whiteness of the back of that uh, page is visible. So I want to make sure that that is less obvious. So we're going to set that there. And I think I'll put another digital image on the back here. Let's see, what do we want to use? Gosh, that's pretty. I'm going to take away some of this because I'm not putting it on a straight side. Uh, we don't need all that bulk. And that's going to cover that whiteness. You're not going to see the music paper. Hmm. Hmm. Not going to use that one in this one then. I do want to see a bit of the music paper. So instead we'll use this one. So that's really how I pick and choose. I think about what do I want to be able to see? Is there anything I want to mask? That kind of thing. So just ink this up. And I might want to put it up here because then it covers, you see you won't see any of that white, which I think is a cool thing to do. All right, put some Fabri-Tac on the back. I usually work a little slower <laughs> than this. I'm just doing this a little quicker just so that I can get through and we don't have you don't have a whole bunch of videos that you have to watch. So there you go. There's the bag. Pretty much done. And like I say, we might put a little something on it. Um, and then you're going to choose whatever ephemera you want to put inside as well. So that glassing bag, I would not put anything behind. Leo, off you go. Off you go. Um, now the journal page. Uh, and guys, this is going to go into, after a half hour, this will automatically go into a second video. So I will mark them as A and B when we get, when we get there. Just a sec. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do with that cat? All right. So I'm going to cut another piece of ephemera. And you could use part of the other page that we already started cutting on, um, but I just really like the idea of using a lot of different pieces because I have quite a few beautiful pieces of her wonderful ephemera. So what I want to do with this one is I want it to do kind of a fat and a bit of a rounded one because I'm going to fold it over. Uh, and I think that's going to look fantastic. So, you may want to fold first, just to make sure it's not going to be a problem. Like, I'm just folding, making sure it's straight here on the bottom. 
My supervisor is watching. I don't know if you can see his paws at the top of the screen. Oh, man. I don't know that he knows I can do this on my own, but... He's micromanaging. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to get out more. There we go. So I just folded that, put glue on it, and put it over the corner. Look how cute that is. And look at the back. All so cute. Super cute. And you know me. I'm all about the botanicals. So I'm going to do a botanical here in the front as well. What about that one we had? Is that too much? That's not too much, is it? I don't think so. So, and you could use, um, I just don't have any handy right now, but uh, um, Tracy's tea cards are great here as well for decorating. I'll be honest, when um, I usually have some tea cards ready when I'm going to do the lace and the fabric part. Uh, so, um, that's something you may, if you have them, or if you have actual tea cards, that would be a good time to do those. So that looks really nice. And then on the back of it, wouldn't it, it would be fun, I think, to put a um, to put like a tag or something. This is one of Tracy's tags. Actually, if I put it there, then it would make a really good tuck spot. I do want to ink around that. And like I said before, these are this one's on cardstock. I think I want to put a hole in the top here. Oh! That's not a good hole. All right. Note to self. Further down. Further down. There we go. There we go. <laughs> See? I'll use that other bit. I'll cut off the top and use that tag somewhere else in some other project because I don't like to waste. So I'm going to set this here as a tuck spot. Okay. Right there. Butt it up against that cardstock on the spine. And we could put could put a little flower there if we wanted. Um, we could put a little music paper. I think that would be kind of nice, just like so. Yeah. It's a great way to use your little scraps, is to do this part that way. Putting my glue on the bottom. And I'm just going to set this up here. And later you might want to put a string in that. I'm just going to put a little zhuzh there. So we're set and we can decide, you know, whether it needs a botanical or not. Sometimes I, I make those decisions. I make the decisions about the lace and uh, whatnot when it's actually in the book. So this is actually quite pretty as is uh, without having to do any decorating on the inside. Um, but there's no reason why we couldn't put, oh, that would be the other way around. Okay, we don't want to do it upside down. Um, let's see, let's use a piece of this. And like I said, you don't have to do the decorating on the inside. That would just look really cute there, I think. And I'm not going to ink it. Totally up to you whether you want to ink it or not. But uh, like I said, I like... I don't want... it. I ink things that I want to stand out a little bit more. And things that I want to just kind of fall into the background. I want to keep like so. So there, I mean, you don't really even notice it, but when you open it up, you're going to see that this is 
is there. Now I haven't in mind put like a little pouch or not a pouch but a pocket or something but you could easily put a pocket on the inside. I've just found these were thick enough and so I guess I would I would suggest you wait until you have everything uh, together in the ring binder and then you can go back and look at what you might want to um, actually put some uh, uh, if you want to add any pockets or anything on some of the insides of these journals, totally up to you. It's just fun. I mean, there are no... You can't make two identical. I suppose you could, but I just don't. I haven't done. Okay, so that's the third one. Uh, and we're getting close to moving on to the next... <laughs> um, video. Actually, it's coming going along really well. Now, this is one of the interior pages, and I put a, I have put a tuck box spot on each side in my, um, in my books. So, uh, someone had the wonderful idea, which I love, of putting one of my book page, um, my book page uh, washi uh, pockets on the page, and I think that looks really good. And I think what I would do is I would leave the top open. So I'm going to do that. That's pretty simple. I'm going to do that for this one. Um, so we're good to go. Like so. That was my favorite one, so that's why I wanted to put that in there. So. If you have a ready-made item, a ready-made tag, whatever, and you want to stick it um, on the side of this, I think that would be a great idea. And then let's do something on this side. I put the tuck spot, if I'm going to put a corner tuck, away from the uh, eyelets. So that's the interior of the page. I have one of Tracy's beautiful um, flashcards, faux flashcards, and I think that would be a great, great tuck spot. So I'm going to use that here. And I'm just going to glue it like so. In here. Like that. And actually what might be kind of fun is to put like a botanical on there. We'll just cut the bottom off a bit. Now, if you're not doing a botanical theme, you know, you could, whatever it is you're using, you could put washi tape here if you want it. Like if a, a th thin piece of washi would be kind of cool there as well. Uh, you could use um, just some more book page collaging. You could use a piece of lace or whatever. And, you know, like I said, we'll wait and see where we go with that. Um, when we get to the lace uh, video. Guys, that's it. That's, gosh, that was super fast. I thought it would take longer. So that is decorating one of each of the three elements. Whoops. So for next time, I'm going to have all of my pieces decorated with these things, the paper and any botanicals. And then we'll move on with adding lace and whatnot. Uh, and we may end up doing the cover uh, depending on time. So that's it. Faster than I thought it was going to be. How to decorate the interior pages. Thanks everyone for watching. I can't believe that went that quickly. We'll see you again next time. Take care everyone. Bye.